Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Terra Qua Tour today. It is Saturday, May 18th, 2024, day 139. Still sober on a weekend. Buttercup is uh, waiting on me to finish all of this up so I can take her over to the um, the store. She's sitting on some allowance from from you know passing third grade. So she she wants to go spend some allowance over at the store. So I got to take her over to the store in here just a short bit. But I am in a quote unquote retro world right now. That's the that's the brief thing I wanted to talk about today. Because uh, yesterday Tessa went to a uh, retro arcade kind of place, where the, but they didn't have what they call retro arcade machines. I I have a bone to pick with people who talk about. Things being retro. What what else did I I saw something else today that someone called retro. I'm trying to remember what it was. What was it? Shoot. I'm trying to remember what it was. I I can't remember what someone was talking about, but I think it had something to do probably with games. I'm going to touch on that. Um, Look at all of these. All of these games and game systems over here. We'll start over here. Let's have a little chat about these Game Boys and Brick Game, which is what, what Brick Game was old uh, Tetris. But the old Game Boys, Famicom, old, Ninten- old Nintendo Entertainment System on an old tube television and the PS1 over here. Um... I hate to break it to everyone. None of these are retro. Sorry, none of these are retro. I've I've slowly over time been getting more and more tired of people calling all of this stuff retro. This is all vintage. This is vintage. They're all well over 30 years old. Like, I believe even the PS1 is vintage now because it's over 25 years old. So let's just say the PS2, the PlayStation 2, is almost running out of time of being vintage. The PlayStation 2 is retro. The PlayStation 2 is retro. Anything before that, anything before the PlayStation 2, those are all vintage. This is all vintage stuff back here. Please, whatever you do, stop calling all of this stuff retro. Call it for what it is. It's all vintage. I mean, even this operating system is now vintage. That's a vintage operating system. Windows 95? Come on. Windows XP is almost now vintage because it's... Well, Windows XP is... (laughs) We're looking at 24 years old. Like almost... Windows XP is almost 24 years old. So it it is only like a couple years away from being from crossing over into the vintage range. If I remember, vintage is either twenty five or thirty years. So yeah, all of that stuff, all of it, all of that, and this operating system, all vintage. This arcade machine, vintage. In fact, they were extremely vintage. And. Then if you come over here where they're like all 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 the retro stuff because this is supposed to be a world called a retro museum. Guess what? All of this stuff over here, that's all antique. They're all over 100 years old. Think about it. That radio, likely over 100 years old. Well over 100 years old. All that phone, that rotary phone could easily could easily be from the 1940s. Well, definitely not 1920s. So that phone is not exactly antique yet because uh, telephone is newer than radio. But so much of this stuff, n- none of it in here, nothing in here is retro. Not a single thing in here is retro. This is all a vintage entertainment museum. <sighs> the only thing that isn't technically retro or vintage is this screen function, which someone just put in here, that's modern. And and by that, it's literally the video player that's there. <laughs> you know, the functional video player. But to make it perfectly clear, none of these, none of these things are retro anymore. They're like 
Definitely. Windows 95 is vintage. <laughs> like, if it's over 25 years old, it's no longer retro. Retro ends at like 25 or 30 years old. And all of these are over 25 years old. In fact, the PS1 is like... PS1 is almost 30 years old. Think about that. 30 years. The, the, any, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System... You realize that's like 40, at least 40 years old, especially the old Famicom, which came out before. But if that was 1984, that's 40 years old. That's 40 year old tech. That is not retro. That is well past retro. But the thing about antique is antique has to be over 100 years old. So most of the stuff you see at an antique store, especially in the United States, most of the stuff in an antique store is all vintage. Think about that one. In fact, if they say, oh, I've got an antique for you, if it's under 100 years, tell them they're, they're lying. Look them straight in the face and say, this is not antique. And dead in the face because it's not 100 years old. But please, especially in the game, I, I, I would argue the gaming industry is the most guilty of overusing the word retro, overusing and misusing. Because, well, like I said, the PS2 is barely retro still. The PS3, the PlayStation 3 is retro. And what, that was... 2006 that was 2006 so that was less you know less than 20 years ago but look that, that was 18 years ago the ps3 is 18 years old that is in the retro like retro has a retro has a really really small window because they also have to, you know, still be popular and everything like that. So th it's it's arguable that the PS3 may never get the retro status because, well, the PS3 was not, well, I didn't like it. I don't know many people who did. I know more people who were into the 360 during that time. So the 360 will probably get the, re the retro treatment. However, because of how companies work now, uh, good luck with that. Good luck. But no, none of these are retro. They're all vintage. Have fun with your vintage toys, people. Yeah, anyway, I, I just wanted to give a short rant because I do have to keep this one short, knowing that it's now officially 5.02 p.m. at the time of recording. Uh, we had to wait. I have to wait to take Buttercup to the store because we're in peak temperatures right now. It's quite humid out. And it's uh, ninety. It's ninety-one degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm waiting for the temperature to go down just enough for us to safely go to the store. Cause, uh, well, I'm the only one here who can stand walking in the heat. I'm the only one who's ever, you know, dealt with it. Everyone else, they say it's too hot, and then say they're gonna pass out, go sit down in somewhere cool, and then just wait till the nighttime. That's normal here. Anyway, I'm gonna. Like I said, I'm keeping this one brief because I, I, I've said I've said my piece faster than I planned on. In fact, how long have I been at this now? Yeah, yeah, I guess that's enough. I, I'm not really worried about doing a long video. Tessa really, really dragged her video out yesterday, but she she was distracted. It was the caffeine. She was distracted and extremely hyper, but <laughs> I'm fine. I'm a little out of breath, but it's the humidity. My lungs do not like humidity. Anyway, this is Terra Quator on your Sunday, May 18th, 2024, day 139. I'll see everyone Monday. You'll see Tessa tomorrow. See you around, everyone. And again, if you have this stuff, have fun with your vintage vintage games. See ya.